Leadership, prowess, inventiveness, diplomacy and finally ambition were some of the talents that ARS was able to recognize with his skill and his father believed that his ability was important for a landlord and to survive the war that was to come. And after a few days everyone began to accept Reitz who was always on ARS's side and was not participating in the wars and thanks to the education, he has received his inventiveness has been increasing a lot and he has become one of the smartest in the Leuven house and later Reitz calls ARS to study and explains that the summer fourth continent was divided into seven kingdoms that were unified by Ansel which was a kingdom that was a kingdom that was it was next to a strait of the continent and thanks to that it was able to conduct maritime dealings with foreign nations and accumulated power that it used to invade and conquer the other kingdoms and with everything under his power the king of Ansel declared himself emperor and renamed the nation as Summer Fourth Empire 203 years ago. But the empire went into crisis now that the current sovereign by Dora's eleven, who was only eight years old, was in the since the real power was with his subordinates who had certain rivalries that eroded the centralized authority and with the decline of the control of the empire several popular revolts started everywhere, which forced several local rulers to defy the court and reinforce their local autonomy and makes ARS remember that his father was sent to deal with it even though they were small conflicts, but even so, one day they would still have a major conflict and he needed to be prepared for it with talented people by his side and asks, where Reitz thought a great war would start and he replies that it would be in the province of Mission since the current amateur ruler was an old man of fragile health who could lose his life in the next few years, but he had two children and it would be natural for the eldest to inherit the throne, but the younger one had more capacity, which ended up generating doubts in Amador about who he should leave the throne to and surely the war would start if he didn't make a choice before leaving. And even deciding, the chances of the war happening were still high since the two sons wanted the throne, which makes ARS distressed and curious about which side his father would choose, and Reed says that Raven believed that the most the old man was supposed to be the successor, but he couldn't decide which side he would be on, since he doesn't serve the ruler of mission directly, but Kanar and ARS thinks that his skill would be useful when choosing who to support, which made him worried since he had only recruited Reitz so far, and wonders what would happen if his father stayed on the losing side. But Reitz says that in a way it could be an opportunity since a lord would change his life if he showed a good performance in war, so they should get stronger for that and by the way ARS didn't have to worry since he was by his side and would protect him at all costs and suggests that they recruit the best people making ARS emotional and so he decides that they would do it today. And before continuing, Leave that subscription to support our channel of dubious quality, and don't forget to like and comment a lot to receive your stolen mega power. But let's go to the anime. Then the two leave the mansion and ARS comes across his father training since he knew that the possible war was approaching and Raven questions if ARS would go to the city again and ARS confirms since he wanted to look for more talented people and Raven asks him to look for someone who is good with magic because it would be crucial in the war since he couldn't use it and none of the servants who used magic were ARS remembers that once his father asked him to insert some red marbles with a red liquid into a device and recite an incantation, but after that day he never let him try again, so maybe he's also terrible at magic, but now ARS and Reitz leave for the city of Castle Canar to meet new people. And when they arrive in the city, Reitz says that they had a population of 50,000 people, 50 times larger than Lamberg, and he explains that this was the district of Canar where the Pyres family who ruled the district lived. Leaving ARS impressed and he notes that the people of this place seem to have a lot of money and admits that he wanted to give this life to the people of Lamberg someday and Reitz believed that they could find it. Someone talented since there were so many people then ARS starts to use their assessment but they don't find anyone promising while I thought that a person's statuses consisted of values and aptitudes and apparently their talents were the result of multiplying the two things, that is, it didn't matter if the status had high numbers, without the correct aptitude it wouldn't be worth much and as they walked around, ARS came across. With the other side of Kanar where several people were in a precarious situation and Reitz says that there were always people like them where there were successful people and maybe prosperity itself brings this inequality, and he already knew what ARS wanted to say since he himself was saved by the boy and so what he was going to say hurt a lot, but unfortunately, there was nothing they can do at the moment which ARS agrees after all. He didn't have the power to save these people and admits that. Before he thought the city was wonderful, but a really good city would be one that even the less fortunate lived in a decent way and although it was naive of him, this would be the kind of domain he wanted to create and wished he had someone among them with some potential, which makes Reitz proud to be able to serve him and in the meantime, someone watched them. But now the two go to the market where a man tries to sell dragon eggs to ARS, who goes into a frenzy and thinks what it would be like to have a dragon as a pet, but Reitz takes action and points a knife at the man while questioning if he had any idea what he was doing by selling something fake to him, 
making the mood heavy, while ARS asked him to take it easy. But Reitz keeps saying that the business with the northern continent was frozen last year and besides, dragon eggs only hatched in high temperatures, so surely they must be giant lizard eggs from the Ansel region, making the man desperate with this crazy guy who said he was going to take his life for trying to humiliate ARS. But the boy finally manages to restrain him and Reitz apologizes for getting excited, but ARS thanks him for helping him while he wondered if he would act this way every time they tried to deceive him. Then he would need to study more to prevent it from happening again. And after that the two continue the search, but ARS fills up with the food from the fair, he even decides to buy a candy, but someone bumps into him and Reitz notices that they stole ARS's wallet. So the two start running after the hooded person and Reitz manages to take off the person's cape, revealing a girl with blue hair. They chase her to an alley where three men surround her and say that a trash like her needed a lot of courage to try to run away from them and start beating the girl but ARS tells them to stop since it was wrong to hit a poor girl and the men go after him but Reitz gives a nice beating to the three who run away. And after that ARS asks if the girl was okay and uses her assessment and finds out that her stats would be leadership 65 90 seconds. Prowess 93 slash 114 diplomacy 31 40ths and her other skills were D rank, but her magic would be S rank leaving ARS in a frenzy, because her numbers were excellent and even though she was a teenager her prowess level was almost equal to her father's and she would probably be very good in combat only with magic. But Reitz asks for the boy's wallet back and ARS asks if she didn't want to become his servant, leaving Reitz surprised since she was a thief. But ARS warns him that she possessed an incredible talent for magic and had never seen someone with so much potential and the girl tells him to stop talking nonsense since he would rather lose his life than serve a boy like him leaving ARS in shock as she said that there were things that people just didn't want but ARS insists and asks her to lend him her power since she had a huge talent for magic and ARS tries to convince her that if she became her servant she would receive a salary and earn food and could have a much better life. But the girl says that he spoke like a little bourgeois and questions the motive of nobles like him, only they look at them living their luxurious lives believing that they deserve their privileges and asks if he had ever done something really meaningful or if he just had a good crib and so they looked at them as if they were very superior and she had no interest in becoming a tool just to have a good life but ARS says he wasn't like that and one day he wanted to create a city that people would have to say how she can live peacefully and that's why she needed her help and the girl questions when that one day would be after all he has a good life and probably didn't know it but people like them live their days in the alleys going through hot and cold without knowing when they would eat again and they couldn't wait that one day and for sure he just wanted to hire her to look like a good person so she wouldn't accompany him for his self-satisfaction and reed says that he understood that they were suffering but in any case he didn't justify his thefts so he should return ars's wallet and the girl returns it since after all he had it safe and didn't want to owe anything to anyone and ars ends up noticing the marks on his body and asks who those people were so the girl replies that they would be minions of a human merchant since she was sold to this guy when she was caught in a nobleman's food store and she had managed to escape but they chased her after all they thought they could sell her dear since she was very beautiful so ars asks why she didn't leave town and the girl replies that she couldn't do that and some children arrive worried about her making the two curious while she said that they were just like her and were orphans who needed to get by on the streets and couldn't leave them to run away on her own making ars admit that he couldn't recruit her and he ends up giving her his wallet who admits that he was weird while leaving with the kids with the two watching her since ars couldn't take her with him and during the night reitz goes to the boy and says that he was in a similar situation to hers and understood what she was feeling since this world was not kind to of those who were at low levels and probably she must have gone through very bad situations with the nobles and that's why she saw them as something bad but ARS was different and Reitz knew it more than anyone else, but ARS admits that at some point this privilege seemed something natural to him, and so it was not surprising that she was mad but he really wanted to create a good city and maybe he didn't think it right since what she said was right, but ARS ends up noticing the orphans running, while looking for Charlotte the girl from earlier, so the two go down to them and the children warn that had caught the girl. Finishing our second episode, thank you very much to those who stayed this far and don't forget that mega morale with your like, subscribe and share, VLW and see you next time.